Hey y'all, it's Diane. So I wanted to show you how some of the past um, pieces that I had videos on came out. This is my big world one, which um, came out really nice. Um, it is completely dry now. There is some beautiful gold in here um, and it just kind of pops. It's very pretty. This had the um, blue black background on it as well um, and I think I would embellish it somehow I just don't know how yet so that is that one let me just put that back here so, um, this is the airbrushed one which I really love um, cuz I don't know if you can see it in this light but there's gold up in here and here and then down in here and it's color shift so when you move it it turns and it's just very pretty this one I'm I'm a big fan of the flip and drag it's official Christina has made me a fan of the flip and drag um, that is my first airbrushing so I'm sure I'll be doing another one of those soon Right now, though, I'm going to do an injector pour. So let me get set up for that, and I will be right back. Hello, everyone. So I am going to do a syringe injection foot cup. And I, in my foot cup, I'm going to put Creative Inspirations Titanium White as my base. I am using a Master's Touch 12 by 12 canvas. And I just want to pour enough that I have something to inject it into and also room for the paint that will go in there. So that's what we're using there. Titanium white. I have a 60 milliliter syringe So in the 60 milliliter syringe, which has a cap on, and you can find in Amazon, I am going to be using uh, lots of blues and some Naples yellow and some Lucas Krill chrome green light because I have to have something bright in there. It has to happen. I just need brightness. But again, has a cap on, so I can literally, and what you'll see me do, is I'm going to put the paint in here. I'm going to start actually with the chrome green light from Lucas Krill, and we're going to layer. This is turquoise from Lucas Krill. I really like their turquoise. Um, I'm going to go in with the Lucas Krill Arctic. And you can see as I'm filling up the paint. After that, we're going to go into the Lucas Curl Steel Blue. Sorry, that actually went down a little much. And then this is Artist Soft Naples Yellow. And then I'm going to go just a little less. going to stop with this turquoise because I feel I have enough of the other colors. You can see all the colors here that I'm using. And let me get these bottles out of the way so that I can then manipulate the canvas. None of these have silicone in them. Um, but I could put some silicone in the flip cup, but I'm not going to do that. I think that will not be an accurate representation then of this. So let me get this in there, All right? So there we go, there's our syringe. It's full of nice pretty colors. And I am 
going to go back this way, holding it carefully, taking the tip off. And then I am going to put it in here and inject it right in to this white in the middle. That's where I'm injecting it. I'm going to pull that out, wipe that off with my towel to the side. It'll have to be washed anyway with all that green in it. Um, so, but these are reusable, so that's something good. Which is good because I think I got four for like $9.99 on Amazon. So I'm just going to move my canvas a little bit over here. Try and center it a little more for everyone. Let me look through the camera and make sure that it is centered. Okay, there we go. Zoom in just a little bit. You can see a little better there. And so there's the inject. It's injected. You can see it's coming up top there. But as far as the sides are concerned, you can't see it. So. I'm going to flip it, and I did, well, I did spray the bottom with um, WD-40 silicone, so it would fall down like that. Now what I didn't try, and I will try in another injector series, syringe series, is to put the cup on here, have this open, and then inject it that way. There's many ways to do syringe injection painting. So I literally am just going to, it's a foot cup, so I'm just going to pull it up. Well, I was going to just pull it up. And as you see, it's all pretty much out of there. And you can see all the colors underneath, and I do have my airbrush nearby if needed. Um, let me get my torch. I am curious to see what will develop, though. I do want to make sure I have no air bubbles in there, which I don't think I do, before I start to stretch. So... I hope all those colors are well represented. I'm just slowly trying to keep it on the canvas for now. Stretching it out a little as you see. If I need more white at any point in time I can do that. But I love all the colors I'm seeing in here underneath that white. I'm going to take it off this edge down here, my cuppy hands, and bring it back. And then I'm going to go down here, and just sort of, I'm just going to kind of take it off the edge until we get down here, and come back. I do want to set it down for a minute. I want to see if any cells develop while I wipe my hand off. I don't want to torch it too much yet. I have to tell you though, I'm in love with the uh, flip and drag airbrush paintings. You'll see another one of those coming up really soon. That was so much fun. So let's try and move it down this way where I actually see all the colors. And if we need a little more white, I'll get it, but I'm gonna see what I can do this way first. And I'm gonna go back. I'm fine with it coming off the edge a little, but I don't really want it to go underneath. 
too much. I also don't want to waste any of the paint. So I'm going to sit that there a moment. Get another paper towel here. So I see some lacing happening in here that I'm loving. I love how the bright green, the chrome green is coming out over there. This, this tripod's taller than me, so let's take it in for a minute. So the idea with the syringe flip cup is that the colors will come through the white as the white settles. And I can see I'm getting some cells. That makes me happy. I'm trying to, again, I'm short and trying to see what I zoomed in on. Okay, so you can see pretty good there. I'll zoom in a little more. Um, but yeah, let me let this sit for five minutes and we'll be right back. Hey y'all, so I took you down off the tripod and this is my view of my syringe injection. And as you see, I got some lacing down here, some beautiful coloring. And that's, that's okay at the bottom there. It's nothing special. Um, this up here, more and more, the white is falling to the background. And I see some nice little cells developing there. So we will see what happens. So there she is for now. We will see what we have tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Smash that bell so you can be notified when I upload my next video. And keep on arting. Have a good day, everybody.